your whole family is all over the tabloids. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's every, it's always Courtney and Scott that they're not really even together, that they're breaking up. And, and, and during the break, we were talking about it and you're telling me they're Courtney fine. and Scott are so together. They're always together. They've always been together. And yeah, they're very, very happy. And you know, she's the one who doesn't really want to get married. But they're really cute. I was telling Bethany that when Courtney's out of town, he's at my house every night for dinner. You know, and I'm like, he's never gonna go home. <laughs> now, do you think, so, there, and there are rumors that Kim bought Kanye a $750,000 Lamborghini. She's too smart with her money. Did she buy him a $750,000 Lamborghini? Well, she bought him a very beautiful gift, but I don't have any idea how much it cost. She I did, did. Wow. wow. I don't think it was, you know, wow. I'm just well, saying. Well, he better, he better be worth it. I should have been nicer to Kim. <laughs> do you, do you think she'll be? <laughs> I'm gonna start being really nice to her. <laughs> Do you think she's very uh, tentative to, to get really serious in a relationship, or it's when you know you know? I mean, would you be, if she decided she wanted to get married again, would you be, you know, all for it? It's her life, or would you be really kind of intervening and saying, you know what, it, it, with Kim, she's, she falls in love really hard. She's a hopeless romantic, and I tell all of my children, follow your heart. You know, follow your heart. Do what you feel and what you want, what you think is the right thing to do, but follow your heart. It is you know, true. Be happy. And she felt that it, right. She felt that it was wrong, and it was wrong. And when it's right, it's right. Yeah. it's true. Yeah. I think most, so I mean, most to... women just know in their gut when something's right and when something's yeah, wrong. Yeah, she's really good with their intuition, and she's she's usually, you know, well, she hasn't been so right lately. <laughs> but I, mean, I think listen, this one, she's we right all, about. We all make yeah. mistakes. Well, it's a, a measly little seventy-two days yeah. <laughs> between friends. Yeah. Is uh, and Chloe, she's she's actively trying to have a baby is she is she pursuing fertility options or is she not right now not chloe just, is just real i mean they'd love to start a family but the truth is that they're really cute together the truth is they both work so hard and the priority has always been about the basketball you and know? she's young i mean and she's only 27. yeah she's got so, a two in front of her age yeah. so you don't start worrying until you have a three <laughs> until you, until yeah, you have exactly. a three exactly and she's into her third decade we'll talk about it but right now they've only been married for almost a, three years in september so they're, we're really excited that's a about long, that. That's a long Hollywood yeah. marriage. I, I, you guys, you're, you're good at longevity, I have to say. You, you and Bruce. Well, are uh, we've been married for 21 years, and I had my first baby with Bruce after being married for five years. So there's plenty of time for babies. There's plenty of time for babies. Yeah. Um, how do you keep the, the love alive? How do you keep the romance well, alive the, after all these keeping years? Keeping it sassy. Yeah. Well, you know, I think and you sexy. have to plan the sexy times. I think you really do after you've been married for 21 years. Um, things can get a little, you know, life gets in the way, busy gets in the way, filming gets in the way. So I think that for me, it's like you have to plan your environment, you have to make the bedroom sexy, you have to, and I'm endorsing this new product called Zestra, which is um, a topical oil, like an arousal oil, which I think is really cool. You have came to the right, did she come to the right place or what? Did I? Yes. <laughs> It's okay. a female arousal show. So yes. why is it that so many females in our day and age are so afraid to talk about sex? Not anymore. I you, am not you afraid came to, to talk the right about place. sex. You came to the right place. Isn't it great? So it's I think amazing. everybody needs a little, to spice it up in the bedroom, I think that everyone needs a little bit of help. The guys have had that little blue pill for how long? So yes. I feel like it's our turn once in a while. Absolutely. And the Zestra has changed my life. It's actually something I learned about from a friend. and. Then I told two friends, and they told two friends. So this so is one of your so this is one of your businesses. Yes. Okay. Love. What, since I've even been aware of your family, I could remember um, Kim doing "Fit in Your Jeans" by Friday yes. and Midori, and you doing. Yeah, she's still doing Midori. And Midori, and you doing Depends and, and Boys. 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 Oh, Boys. Boys. The little pads. Oh, that's for yeah. con incontinence. But maybe I should do Depends. No, that's Lisa Rinna, who was here the yeah. other day. Lisa yeah. Rinna's doing Depends, yeah. and you were doing, it's called Poison, Boys. it's for, because women, they yeah. have, okay. So there's so many different, you, and you have your own products, you have. We're just letting it all hang out here today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love to have sex and I pee in my pants. What can I tell you? Well, uh, listen, when, you, when you're pregnant and then when you have babies and you've had several, women have it. We yeah. talk about it all here. Yeah. So it's not to, listen, we all know about it. Um, I just want to know, so you have so many different businesses mm -hmm. and you are pretty much, you're not only the mother, but you're the mother of the brand. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. Um, of the every, whole Kardashian yes, brand. Yes, and I'm everybody's manager. And, um, you know, we run a tight ship and we try to find products and things that, that you know, are a great match for the girls and that, you know, like beauty and fashion. They have their clothing lines and they have the Sears. Oh, right, the Sears and the, collection. And yeah, they I mean, you're into Kadesh everything. QVC, so. So, so what's but the. But it's so much fun because the girls started in fashion. That's 
that's where their roots are. That's and where they, they love came it. from. You and that's what they've always right. wanted to do is be a part of the beauty and fashion world. And before we ever had a show, we had the clothing stores. So, you know, it's just a right. natural progression. That, a natural that's fit. their dream of always wanting to have fragrances and nail polish and clothing. And they're like, you know, they I love mean, to play dress up. I mean, they're living every girl's dream. Yeah. So is, what, what is the Kardashian brand? Would you say fashion and beauty? That fashion is the and Kardashian. beauty is the, is the, you know, the meat and the, and the, of the brand. And it has, you know, we do our quick trim, which is the diet product, which all kind of, you know, goes together with. But nothing that we do is ever something that's completely you know, far away from what the girl's passions are. I tell everybody, follow your passion. And if somebody says no, you're talking to the wrong person. Right. Yeah. And, and, um, and as far as the, the end game, I mean, you, you're, you're just doing now, you're doing more seasons. Mm -hmm. And you actually, we were talking in the break that you actually yeah. enjoy it. The cameras don't really, they don't really bother you. Like me, I kind of hit the wall with reality TV. I just felt that the cameras were always in my house. Yeah. Do you, what do you feel that the end game is? Like, when do you feel like you'd want, you know, maybe to have just privacy and not have cameras right. in your house in your life? Or do you feel that way? Probably season 23, Kylie gets married. Ah, that'll be, that'll, that'll, be, be, that'll yeah. be the finale. No, I honestly love what we're doing so, so much. You know, I get up every day and we get to work with each other. I get to, I'm being paid to work with my family. That's true, you get to be with your and family so while you're working. And there's so many of us. You know, so every single morning, everybody gathers at my house and it's hair and makeup and talk and catching up and what the day's going to be like and what are we doing and, That's a great thing, know. to be able to work with your family. I do have it's to say, amazing. that's not, that is and a nice part That's why it. my little kids love it so much. You know, the Kendall and Kylie were 14 and 16 and their friends are over and it's like, it's like, honestly, some days it's like, you know, a pain in the ass and some days it's one big party. Like any other job. Yeah. Like any other job. One, you get and, to so, do with your and I crave it. It's like after we wrap, two days go by and everybody doesn't show up and I go, wait a minute, where did everybody go? Yeah. Because I, the first day we started shooting, day one, season one, first episode, same crew we have today, we had that day.